Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my second update on my yearly project pan. Now before we get started, I want to reiterate the fact that I am not a project panner. I was just doing this project pan. I've done it for the past two years, I believe, because there's products in here that I wanna make sure I'm more focused on in my collection, maybe some older products in my collection. If you guys wanna know the reasons behind every single product and why I put certain products in my project plan, please please make sure to watch the introduction video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Please excuse me if I look down on my phone, I do have like my list of items here and I wanna make sure that I don't forget anything. So let's start off with the first item. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I have some progress on here. So you can't really see it because I used a silver Sharpie to um, mark the product here because I didn't really like want the black Sharpie on here. It's just such a pretty bottle that I didn't really wanna put like black Sharpie all over here. but. The first update, we were like up to here, right below where the Coda Lee uh, script is. And now, as you guys can see, we're down here. So I've had a pretty good amount of progress. I will admit that I kind of forgot about this because it actually had fallen. If I don't see a product, then I'm not going to remember to use it. So a lot of these products I have kind of like in a little... Um, everyday makeup area. I don't really have like a drawer or anything like that. So I have like a little area where I keep a lot of these um, items so, I so that I remember to use them. I've been really enjoying it when I'm using it, um, but you know, hopefully it won't fall again. So I remember to keep using it, but I do think I am going to get more progress with that, especially because it's something that I've made a habit of putting on. So the next like category, so to speak, primers, I decided to do a, a category and I wanted to finish up five deluxe size primers. Now I've already finished up a few. Um, I talked about those in my last update and I'm getting very, very close to finishing this. This is the Laura Mercier. Um, it just says like foundation primer. I have just a little bit of this left. I switched from the Smashbox uh, photo finish primerizer. So I'm a little more than halfway done with this. Um, I switch with this because this is a little bit more of a hydrating primer and it is the summertime. So I felt like it was leaving my skin a little too hydrated for the summertime. So I stopped using this and I wanted to go ahead and finish this up, especially before the summer ends. I talked about in my last update how I really don't like this primer. I feel like it kind of stinks a little bit. That's the reason I don't like it, but I think that it actually performs really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish using that up and get it out of my collection. And then the other primer that I have is is the Milk Blur Stick. I was uh, using this as a replacement for the Photo Finish uh, primer from Smashbox. This product has grown on me. It is a little bit on the like drier side, so sometimes it does tug on my skin, but I find that if I warm it up on my hands before I apply it on my face, then it, it works perfectly. But I really only use this on like my cheeks and then a little bit in my T-zone. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this by the end of the uh, year because it I don't really use a lot of it. I am kind of rounding it out a little bit more, but we'll see, we'll see how much much um, I get through this primer, but I, I know I'm definitely gonna finish the Laura Mercier one and the primer uh, primerizer by the end of the project pan. So the next item I have, I have an update for you guys. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I finished this product up during the last update. There was just a sliver of this product up, so I knew I was definitely going to finish it. I really, really like this, but I've decided not to repurchase it for now because I have a few deluxe size eye primers um, that I have in my collection that I want to use. And so I've put this into the project pan to replace the paint pot. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's the original formula. It's just a little itty bitty deluxe size sample, but these take for ever to use up. I used to have one in my very first project pan that I ever did, and it was a little bit larger um, of a, like a deluxe size sample, but it still took me a long time because you just use a little bit. So far, I really like this. Is it comparable to the paint pot? Definitely not because this doesn't really like cover any veins or um, like any darkness on your eyelids. It's just a good primer. I do have oily skin, so my eyelids do get a little bit greasy and this does help everything like kind of stay on my eyes and adhere to my eyes. So I've been enjoying this, but we'll see if I get to use that up by the end of the project pan. So the next item I have, again, I have another update for you guys. The last update, there was just a little bit of pan peeking 
through and this time as you guys can see the pan is significantly bigger this is the bobby brown it's actually a deluxe size bronzer it's the bronzing powder in medium too but i've been using it as kind of my everyday eyeshadow so this is something that i quickly put into the crease and that's all i'll wear sometimes it's just an eyeshadow kind of like a one and done um, eyeshadow look it's been living in my everyday makeup bag and i have been using it consistently sometimes um, i'll put this in even if i'm using an actual eyeshadow palette so i've been getting a lot of use out of this and i just really really like this color i think it's a really um nice kind of transition color and i love pairing this with the bobby brown eyeshadow stick the cream eyeshadow stick the long wear cream eyeshadow stick and this one's in the shade golden peak update i completely used this up so i had a good bit of this left but i was just consistently using it because it's been kind of like my quick and easy everyday kind of makeup look i do have a full size of one of these cream eyeshadow sticks from the bomb so i've been using that a lot with this in my everyday makeup bag but i really really liked the bobby Brown formula i also really like the laura mercier formula i feel like the formulation is a little bit better than the bomb ones but since i have the bomb ones in my collection i'm just you know trying to use them up but i would probably repurchase these if i didn't already have the bomb ones in my collection and then to replace this it's not the exact same product but i've been kind of using it as like a shimmery like eyeshadow but i've also been using it as a highlighter base this is the long comb uh glow sutil glowing lights number zero six it's their cream highlighter and like i said i've been using this kind of on my eyes and also as my highlighter base for any cream or for any cream for any powder highlighter that i wear on top i like this it's pretty much the same formula as like the ColourPop cream highlighters um so uh, for that reason i wouldn't go out and purchase like a long comb product like this because there is like a cheaper alternative to it but i do like this so i have it in my collection i'm just going to go ahead and try to use it up which is why i brought it into the project pan so the next product i think it was the it cosmetics confidence and a compact i finished that up last update so i don't have it to show uh today so i have the laura mercier balance and brighten foundation this is in the color fair I have used this slightly more since the last update, so you may not be able to see as much progress. The dome is definitely gone on this one and you can start to see a little bit of a dip. I don't think it's that significant where um, you'll be able to tell a difference from the last update. But yeah, it's been going good. I've been using this uh, along with the Physician's Formula Foundation, kind of in areas where I don't want that red to kind of peek through because I feel like the Physician's Formula formula foundation is not as full coverage so like I said I just use it in areas where I'm a little bit more red and my red won't peek through so that's how I've been using this um, and I've also been using it on days where I just want to use a powder foundation um, it's a good foundation it does tend to lean more towards the pink side or maybe that's the way it's like reacting with my skin um, but yeah my goal is to finish this up by the end of the project and I think I'll be able to accomplish that so the next product is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I talked about it in the last update, how I'm just kind of sick and tired of this product. As you can see, the pan has actually grown a lot more. I'd say it was maybe half the size in the last update, and there's definitely more of like a difference in um, like height of this product. But I'm kind of tired of this product, so I've been pulling a lot of other bronzers from my main collection, and I've been trying to use this at least once, maybe twice a week. Bronzer is a product that I like to wear even on my like no makeup or light makeup days. So today I'm wearing a bronzer from Milani. I've already used this product once this week, but I don't know how much more progress I'm going to get out of this by the end of the year because this is like, this is an everlasting product. I swear it never ends. So we'll see, you know, the latch no longer works on this thing. It still smells really good, um, but you know, I feel like I've been getting more use out of it because I've been pretty much using bronzer every day, but I don't really know, like I said, how much more progress we'll get by the end of the year. So the next category um, I have here is kind of eyeliners. So I had like a Stila eyeliner that I had used up, a deluxe size one, a Kat Von D eyeliner that I had used up, or I had in my last update and I completely used up. Um, it's a deluxe size of that. I don't know where those are, um, but 
but you know, they're dried out. I feel like liquid eyeliners you go through pretty quickly. So I pulled in this one, the NYX Epic um, Ink Liner. I was actually working on another one, like a beauty for real one. But on my last trip, it actually fell in between like a washer and dryer. So I lost that eyeliner. I'd say I had maybe a good month left on that one. So I'm not going to exactly call that one a use up because it still had, you know, a little bit more life uh, left to it. But I really like the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is waterproof. I pretty much wear this in combination with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Perversion. I have a good bit of progress on this. This was brand new when I started it. I feel like I've used up a good bit of it because it was like a longer eyeliner. I didn't really feel like marking this because I didn't think it's that interesting of a product um, to track. I just, you know, I'm just going to use it up whenever I'm done with it. I have a few other like cream eyeliners like this in my collection, but I like it. I like the formula of it and I kind of always smooth it out with a liquid eyeliner um, and the NYX Epic Ink Liner is a great one. And then another one I have here is the Marc Jacobs. This is the highlighter. It's like their gel eyeliner and this is in the color rococo it is what i'm wearing on like my bottom lashes today and it is a beautiful like brown like a chocolate brown eyeliner with a little bit of shimmer to it but not like too much where it's chunky glitter or anything like that and i just think it looks uh really really good and it stays in my waterline for a long time i can't show you progress on this because if you roll this like all the way up it doesn't roll all the way back down so i've done that before with like the black one of this and <laughs> It was a big mistake. So the last product in my project pan is um, the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. This is the first Naked Basics Palette. And I threw this in for the last update. I'm not sure if I put it in my introduction video because this is a product that I've been working on for a long time, but I have uh, very specific goals. I'm not trying to pan this whole palette. I pretty much want to completely finish this up. The last update, there was a, just a little bit, maybe half the size of this pan going, um, and it's definitely grown. It's definitely going. Every time I use this product, I see the pan just getting bigger and bigger. I wanted to use as much of this eyeshadow up as I can. I feel like I do have a little bit of progress, but I haven't been using this eyeshadow up as much. And these are the eyeshadows that I tried to use a little bit more evenly. This is what I used to set my primer with, and this is kind of like a transition shade for me. Um, and my goal was to hit pan on this one here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of pan peeking through. So not as much as I want. So hopefully I can make that pan bigger by the end of uh, the project pan. But realistically speaking, I have hit my goal on that eyeshadow. So yeah, I feel like I make, I'm doing really good progress on this. And I just have fallen in love with this little palette. Like I use it almost every time. Same thing with this Bobbi Brown single eyeshadow. Um, I've just really fallen in love with these products and it every I, I noticed that I reach for them more often even when I'm using full eyeshadow palettes so I've just really been enjoying using these um, I was getting a little bit tired of them last year but I feel like I've fallen back in love with them so those are all of the products and my update in my yearly project pan I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I currently post three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and then on Sundays I like to post a plan with me so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one bye